Hey guys, it's me, BasketBrain, and I am back with another video. It is now December, and it's time to kick off the Christmas season. Today we're going to be doing my top 10 Christmas movies, slash TV specials, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to show you the movie, and in this I'm going to show you the movie poster, the runtime, and then the rating, and then like the ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. Keep in mind, I don't look too much in depth to the ratings because they're just ratings and they have different and critics have different opinions than I do but anyway let's just get into it at number 10 we have home alone 2 now i didn't use now i didn't watch mo these two the first two home alone movies until i was a little bit older because i didn't really appreciate this kind of stuff at the stuff when i was a bit younger but after i watched the first home alone i absolutely fell in love with it and then when i and i heard there was a sequel i knew i needed to watch it and when I watched it, I also absolutely fell in love with it. I think the story, I think the story is great. Another good dynamic with Kevin and the Pigeon Lady, and I just think it was a very good sequel to a very good predecessor. Now moving on to number nine, we have Klaus. This is a fairly new movie. It came out and came out last year. And for those of you who haven't seen it yet, you probably have. But if you haven't, it's basically sort of like a Santa Claus origin movie. And when I was first, when going into watching this, at first I was a little nervous because it like seemed like an okay concept. Just I was nervous because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Netflix original movies because they will greenlight anything. But watching it, I absolutely fell in love with it. It was such a, it's such a nice movie. I really, really liked it. I think it was cool how they implemented how, I really think it was cool the way they did Santa Claus Origins. And it was also nominated for best, and it was also nominated for the Oscar for best animated feature in 2019. And in my humble opinion, if it wasn't, if it hadn't, if it had come out a little bit before, if it had come out in 2018, I think it probably would have won the Oscar. Just in coming out in 2019, it's kind of hard to compete with Toy Story 4. But anyway, let's move on. Number eight, we have a Charlie Brown Christmas, and this is the like. Getting into the whole TV special kind of thing because this is only 30 minutes, but it's still amazing. And this movie and this TV special has been around was the first ever Peanut special. It's been around since I think like either this I think like the early 60s. I'm I'm not really sure though. But anyway, this is a this is a beautiful classic on how the Peanuts gang is spent doing their Christmas play and Charlie Brown learns about what Christmas is all about. And this will always have a special place in my heart. And now moving on to number seven, again more. And moving on to number seven, we have the Polar Express. Now all of you have probably seen this movie, but those for you who haven't, it's basically about a boy who has to go on a goes on a train ride to the North Pole so he can learn the true magic of Christmas. Now this movie, as this movie is honestly really good. I mean, I thought the. I thought the way that they used Tom Hanks to play all the adult characters was pretty good, and then I also, I also thought the dynamic between all the characters were really good, and it was such a nice story about a boy who didn't believe, and then he was shown how it's good to believe and have a little magic in your life. And I abs and Tom Hanks is just one of my favorite actors like ever. He's hilarious. But I love him. And anyway, moving on to number six. This is the, we have, now keep in mind, I have the Grinch on here twice, but that's because the Grinch has been made three different times, and I consider each time it's been made its own separate thing, rather than just being one overarching, thing, one overarching movie, because they're all sort of have, create a different spin on the plot. Basically how I categorize it, I categorize the 1960, like the Grinch of the 60s, the old, old Grinch, the one from like the 2000s, the old new one, and then this one, and then the one from 2018, the new new one. And now this is the 2018 version, the new new Grinch. And going into this, I didn't, I really wasn't, again, it's sort of like Klaus Tor. I was going into it, I was a little nervous because I, because I saw Illumination and then the Grinch and I thought this move, I didn't, I didn't think they were going to put a whole lot of effort in. I thought it would probably just be like a, simple easy cash grab but they put actually a lot of effort into it to put their own sort of spin on a classical tale by dr seuss and honestly i liked it a lot better than i thought i would moving on to five we have the original grinch from 
nineteen six from like the sixties. Now this one, it's again another TV special, only twenty six minutes, and even though it's short, it's still so good. It still so good. It was a great spin on Dr. Seuss's story. It sort of Stewart story. I thought the acting was great in it, and I gave me one of my favorite Christmas songs, the You're a Mean One, and I like this version a lot better than the remade one they did for 2018. Now, moving on to number four, we have Rudolph, and I would technically consider this a movie, even if it's only like 45 minutes long, just it's a little bit on the shorter side, but anyway, Rudolph, I, all of you have seen it, so I don't need to go over what it's about, but anyway, I'm real, anyway, if for those of you who don't know me, I'm a, like a big kid, pretty much, even though I'm older, I'm still a, I still have like the soul of a kid, so I have, so I still love this, even if it's more of a kid's movie, I, it's always been a, it's always been a classic, it's a movie that I watch every single Christmas, I absolutely love it, and yeah, moving on to no, the top three, with number three, we have Frosty the Snowman, another Another special with only 25 minutes long. This was another one just like Rudolph to where I've watched this every Christmas my entire life and it's always holding us. It's always held a special place in my heart. I have countless memories watching this with family and friends and I honest and looking at it from a movie standpoint, I think the story's I think it's a pretty good story and I still love, and I also love the animation. I think it's really nice. Now, moving on to number 2, we have Daddy's Home 2. Now, I'm going to pause just because some of you may be like, but wait, that's not a Christmas movie. Well, for me, I divide films into three, I divide any film into like three different categories. I'll have everyday films, which are films that you could just watch every, any day. I have like theme films, films with like an overarching theme, like all these previous ones were theme films because they all had the theme of Christmas. And then I have those ones that are in between, which I call theme day films, pretty much meaning that they can be connect that they are a little bit connect that they are connected to an overarching theme, but they're not like solely based on that theme, and they could just be watched any day. So yeah, that's what I consider this movie, and I would and theme day movies. I still consider being in the running for a favorite category of movies. So we're gonna count it, and even though the and I absolutely love this movie. I think it's. I think it's hilarious. I honest, well, many people would prefer the first one over this one. I honestly prefer this one just because, again, I'm sort of like a big softy, so I absolutely love the. It's much more like family based, and it's honestly really hilarious. And now on to my favorite Christmas movie. You probably all saw this coming, but Home Alone. Now I know all of you have seen this, and basically, I just. And when I was younger, I didn't really watch. I didn't wasn't really interested in watching this movie. I mean, my sister and my mom they would always watch it, and they were like, "Come on, Michael, watch this." I was just like, mm, "I don't know." I was sort of like, I didn't. I kind of didn't want to watch it. But then the, I I finally decided when I was a little bit older to give it a try, and I absolutely loved it. It is such a good movie. I love, I love the acting. It's so good. And this whole movie is just a really, it's just really good about how a kid was left home alone. And I always think in my head, what would this happen if, what would I do if it happened to me? I probably wouldn't be able to think this much because I'm not all that bright. But anyway, that was my list of my top 10 Christmas movies. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Now, this was just a short little video to sort of kick off the Christmas season. There will be some more There'll be some more Christmas videos later this later this month, like I said, like I said in the previous video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys are having a nice and safe holiday season. If you liked it, please hit the like button, hit the red subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.